Hey guys, I'm back in a video and oh my god, my mouse is glitching out. What? What is. Whatever! I guess I'll have to deal with that. Um, hey guys, I'm back in a video and this time I am here and I am going to be showing you guys, as I promised, how to, you know, modify those wep weapons and. excuse me, weapons and items. Um, and possibly other things in unturned. Now, a disclaimer, this, most of it will not work in multiplayer. Specific things will, like the name and description. So, let's get into it. So first, you're going to need to open up Steam. And your Steam library. Um, right click on unturned over here. You probably can't see my mouse. Uh, go here. You see, I have unturned opened up. Now, left click somewhere around the name there, um, and click properties. Now, go to local files and browse local files. You can now, you can now XL that and minimize Steam or XL Steam, whatever you prefer. Um, now, you're here. Um, yeah. Now, when you're here, click bundles, double click bundles, and you'll be brought up here. Now, I, in this, um, well, I guess tutorial guide, tutorial, um, I'm only going to go over the item, so just double click the items folder, and you'll be brought up to a ton of these. Now, um, I'm going to be modifying, um, one of the guns, but you can modify anything else. This is just a simple guide. Just use your imagination with everything else. Now, I'm double clicking guns and I'm brought here to more folders. We now all of these are all the guns. Um I am going to be modifying the man blunt force, why not? The blunt for floors. <laughs> Now, right now, we're going to go over how to change the name and description. This is for you only. So if you give your friend a blunt force, um, he will not see the special name or description. But if your friend gives you a blunt force, you you can see it, but he can't. So it's just locally. So um, right now, we're going to go over everything. But first, click English. Double click English. I'm opening this up with notebook plus plus but when you normally click it um, it will say windows cannot open this or whatever so if this is your first time doing it just right click English and edit with notepad plus plus or edit with notepad whatever notepad software you have so um, now you will be brought up to this or something that looks like this name Blunt force and description American shotgun chambered in 12 gauge shells. Now, you can change the description of the name here. I'm going to name this. Well, first, what I recommend doing is just control A, control copy. Um, oops. Well, let me just get rid of some stuff so it's easier. Alright, so I did all of that. Just make a new um, thing and copy control V it in so control copy is copy you don't know all you all know that so let's edit this now I want to edit the name into um oops what what the what okay whatever Camel blunt force, as I have a skin for the camel. Um, hidden by a coat of. Uh, I have a forest skin. I think I. No, I have a tundra camel. There. 
So that's that now. You just want to save it. And there you go. Now just minimize that. And go into Blunt Force. Now this will be opened in Notepad Plus Plus again. Control A, Control Copy. Oops. Control V. Here we go. Now, um, on the top you can modify slot primary. You can also do. I believe secondary, um, so it can fit in both. So you know what? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, now now it fits in the secondary slot as well. The ID you can modify, but I'm not going to. Now you don't want to mess with all this. So just the site. You can change the site, and you can change the magazine that is already loaded in. Um, the site I'm going to change to what the Eagle Fire has, the 16 times scope, which is 296. So I doubt the Blunt Force has a whatever site thing. Um, now you can do hook site, hook tactical, or hook grip, and hook, um, hook something else. Hook barrel. So you know what? I've never tried this before, so wish me luck. Hook barrel. Oops. So now you Eagle Fire had all of that, and now the Blood Force does too. Now, now I'm pretty sure that means I can add a barrel to it, though I'm not very sure as I'm not that you know experienced now. Ammo minimum and ammo maximum. I've never tried this either. I'm going to give the blunt force a hundred ammo. Then there's safety and semi. I'm gonna get rid of safety, and I'm going to go full out auto and see how that does. Caliber eight. I do not know what that means. Range twenty. You can change the range and fire rate forty, and then action pump. Um, well. Pump. The action is pump, like the Eagle Fire's action is trigger. So, I guess that means you can. That's the reload thing. Well, not the reload thing, but when you click it to activate it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the action trigger to action pump. There we go. And I'm just gonna save this. Now, be right back because time is running out. Um, I'll do all the stuff later and just tell you what I did. Alright, so what I did was I changed the damage to 99999. But I doubt um, 999 is max damage. I'm pretty sure 99 is max damage. So I'm just gonna do player damage, zombie damage, and animal damage all to 99. What else I did was I changed durability to zero, so it'll take no durability, and I did the multiplayer point one point whatever, so it does more damage, just enough to kill them. So I'll be right back in the game. Don't forget to save it. All right, this is amazing. Every time I shoot, it does the shotgun thing. Oh my god, he even has a barrel attachment. And. It has a scope, and it's so cool! And look! 99 ammo after I just shot one. So it holds up to 100 now! Well, this is amazing! Now, this. It doesn't have auto because it does the pump thing. I guess that's too bad. But let's see how much damage it does to this tree. It should destroy it within two hits and kill a zombie within one. But I doubt it'll work because it didn't work with the eel fire. Whoa, it worked! And that was only one shot too! Okay, the scope isn't going to work well. 